$9,000 in gross revenue this week. So this property had a foundation lift, hundreds of pillars is what I was told. And they had to put all this brand new concrete in. And whoever did the concrete made a mess. So we're the cleanup crew and we're cleaning windows, concrete, and these pillars here getting all this debris off. finished pressure washing the first section sidewalks cleaned then once these pillars are done we'll start on the window cleaning good progress so far day two there's a storm coming in so we're gonna try to knock out as much as we can today it's supposed to get pretty bad tomorrow Take a look at how bad these pillars are. These are hard water stains from the irrigation system. No telling how long they've been there. So we're gonna treat it with a really heavy F9 mix. Let it sit for 10 minutes, scrub it, and then hit it with high pressure. And that should make these looking brand new again. Texas weather is weird. Lightning, thunder, heavy rain all night, all morning. And the temperature dropped. Yesterday it was probably in the 80s. Today it's in the 40s. So it's a little chilly out, raining. But the good thing is I'm at the job site. The customer called and we pretty much explained to him, hey, you know, we scraped the windows. Yeah, you know, we scraped the concrete off the windows. Um, we cleaned them. They look good, but the window frame has a ton of residue on it from the, the construction that needs to be chemically treated. We hit it with as high of pressure as we could comfortably do. Um, we scrubbed it, tried to scrape it off, and it just won't come off. I mean, it's essentially mortar concrete um it needs to be chemically treated multiple times we need to sit and let the chemical do its work then we need to rinse off so the customer said give us a quote you know it's it's more like restoration type work um it's not just cleaning work so he said give us a quote and we'll see so i'm out here i have three different chemicals i'm using i'm using an f9 product i'm using a one restore and the nmd 80 so doing three different test spots, we'll see how it turns out. But yeah, it is cold out here today. Welcome to Texas.
Hey guys, I did three different chemical applications and I tested three different areas to see if we can clean this up. Now yesterday we already cleaned these with water, pressure, and we tried scrubbing. When you apply one restore, it really cleans it up nicely. That's what it looked like before. Now this is with three coats. I let it sit for five minutes each time. So this right here, you know, take is gonna take three to four coats. Plus we're gonna have to scrub those thick areas. But you can definitely see the side-by-side -side difference. I think it looks really great. So pretty much we finished most of our cleaning. We have a few touch-up spots, but you can see hard water and other types of stains from mortar and concrete down on the uh, aluminum window frames. So what we're gonna use is one restore. We're gonna go from this to that. So additional line item, additional labor and chemical cost. Um, so essentially this is gonna take the job till Monday. And yeah, uh, we were hoping to finish in two or three days with this weather. Plus we had a uh, window cleaning job for an apartment complex today. It's just pushing things back, but should be done Monday. I think they're gonna be happy with it. It's uh, looking pretty good. 9,000 dollars in gross revenue this week between Craig and I <clears throat> and I want to describe the feeling as being happy because I'm out here working on a Saturday don't get me wrong I'm extremely grateful I think it allows me to save money so when my son is born hopefully I can take a little bit of time off but with that being said my wife has boundaries and today's a, a busy day for our family um, there's a family event this evening there's work to be done my wife and I had plans to get ready for our baby you know setting up the crib and the whatnot but I have to work and she's not happy about it and honestly neither am I but I think that's just that's just part of the game. That's just part of owning a business. If we don't get what we need to get done today, we can't have a successful week next week. There's just too much work. We're booked Monday through Friday. We're starting a new apartment complex. Craig has an apartment estimate. I have an apartment estimate. I've been putting off some graffiti removal for my neighborhood for about a week now. I need to get that done. Um, I have the car dealership. so. Next week's gonna be another big week. So, it's just one of those things. All right, fast forward a few days. We're done with that job. It took us longer than expected, but we had two or three rain delays just from lightning and thunder and heavy rains. Um, also, we had to bring our own water for the job and we added to the scope of work while we were out there, so. In total, we cleaned about 12 or 13,000 square feet of flat work. We cleaned about 100 of those large windows, 30 to 40 concrete pillars, removing all that hard water. And then, um, let's see, what did we do? Oh, actually, I'm looking at my notes here. We cleaned it. 160 of those large windows um, I didn't show it in the in the vlog but there's actually two large buildings that we cleaned I only filmed that one of them because it was vacant but the other building um, they're still actively working in there plus there was a subway and whatnot anyways good sized job lots of work but yeah that's it we're working at an apartment complex this week I'll drop a vlog about how we go about cleaning breezeways. We'll be at
at this job site for about a week, a week and a half. Then Craig just landed another apartment complex, so I'll do a vlog about that one. So yeah, we're moving. By the way, I don't have a filming or editing background at all. So I, I'm, keep, I'm still experimenting and testing out how I wanna edit the videos, the sound, all that stuff. So just let me know what you think. I mean, if you think I'm on the right track, great. If you think it sucks, great. Anyways, I'm just curious to hear what y'all's thoughts are. If you watch this whole vlog and you're listening to this at the very end, just give me your thoughts. Just let me know. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye.